Okay, let's think about the antiderivatives for the, of the trig functions. We'll start off with cosine. And really, we just need to think back at, well, what, what do you differentiate to get cosine? And remember, that's just sine. So we get sine x plus c. Now, if you think about, well, what is the antiderivative of sine? It's not cosine, because remember, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we have to compensate for that negative that's in there and say, okay, this is negative cosine. Okay. Now let's think about secant squared. Remember the derivative of secant the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So if we see the antiderivative of secant squared, that's going to be tangent. Let's think about the antiderivative of cosecant squared. Now remember, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared, so this one would be negative cotangent. Yeah. Now, let's look at this. Let's suppose we've got secant x tan x. Well, remember, secant x tan x is the derivative of secant x. So this should just be secant x plus c. And then we could say, well, what about cosecant x cotan x? Well, that would be negative cosecant. Yeah, like that. So these are the relationship here. Now, so these are the ones that we can take note of at this time. And notice I didn't say, well, what is the antiderivative of secant? Well, that's going to come later. Right now, these are the ones that we can work with. So let, let's, let's see how we might see a problem or an antiderivative. Maybe we'll have something like x to the eighth minus, let's say, sine x. Something like that. And we want to, we just want to go term by term, just like we would differentiate term by term. We're going to find the antiderivative term by term. Well, this first one, x to the eighth, that's just the power rule for integration. One ninth, x to the ninth, right? Just using the power rule for integration. You add one to the eighth and divide by it. Now, then we have a negative sign. Well, we could just write that as cosine. See? Because it's already got the negative there. Now, notice if we differentiate through, we can check our work. The derivative of this is 9 times this 1 ninth. That's just 1. X to the eighth. Power rule. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we get right back where we started. 